The resolution process of Reliance's Pipovov shipyard has received five expressions of interest from investors, and Russia's largest United Shipbuilding Corporation is seen as the only serious contender. The design offices of United Shipbuilding Corporation are responsible for almost all the ships that are built and are being developed for the Russian Navy as well as foreign customers. The Russian President Vladimir Putin and Prime Minister Modi had taken a tour of a shipyard run by United Shipbuilding Corporation on 5 September 2019, which is responsible for developing the Sturm-class supercarrier for the Russian Navy, and the same aircraft carrier design was also offered for the Indian Navy. If United Shipbuilding Corporation acquires the Pipovov shipyard in India, chances are that this development might lead to new collaborations and orders for next-generation vessels of latest designs for the Indian Navy. The first batch of six indigenous 155mm Danoshtod howitzers was delivered to the Indian Army by the gun carriage factory of the Ordnance Factory Board in April 2019, and the factory was supposed to supply another eight howitzers in 2020, but no dispatch could happen as the lockdown has hampered operations at the factory. Four howitzers are reported to be ready, but they could not be delivered to the Indian Army due to logistics problem, while the testing of another batch could not happen, as the test ranges are located in different states, which means that the total supply this year will still be short of equipping one full artillery regiment. Despite extended talks with Vietnam in 2016, nothing concrete has been done in the last four years with regard to providing the 290 km range Brahmos systems to Vietnam, which also included the option of deploying a team of Indian technicians in Vietnam to provide instructions on the Brahmos system. While the signing of Brahmos deal with Philippines is just around the corner, very little progress has been made against the interest shown by other countries, which would not only be a major strategic move by India in countering China, but also a big boost for the government's new policy that aims to achieve $5 billion defense export by 2025. The Algerian Air Force has reported a third crash of its CH-4 Chinese unmanned aerial vehicle due to control issues especially during landing. Algerian news media has reported that China signs agreements to export a certain variant, but delivers a lower version with many changes that the buyer has no choice and has to accept the platform. Instead of providing spare parts and after-sales service, China keeps offering new options for better unmanned aerial vehicles. China also provides defense platforms to both the rival parties and earns from both sides. As India has opened its space sector for private investments, an Indian rocket-making startup company Agni Cool Cosmos Private Limited is expecting to have its rocket ready by 2022. The company will buy commercially available navigation systems and modify them to its needs, while the three-stage rocket engines will be ready within the next seven months, and they will be powered by a semi-cryogenic fuel with a carrying capacity of 100 kg to lower Earth orbit. Oh, my God.